You want to do the Fallout thing right away? We can do the Fallout thing right away. All right, Fallout 76 is offering a $100 annual pass that will give you unlimited storage and the ability to play the game by yourself. Okay, now I debated whether or not to call this a clock reset because... This is outrageous. This is a dumb idea, but it's just a dumb idea as opposed to a complete failure in its... Like, in like okay. This should have been free. How do I... It, well, you know, how do you explain, like, it's what's the difference between, like, someone... Mm. Uh, it depends how you frame the clock, because it's like, it's been X days since... A failure. Since, well, see, here's the thing. I don't actually count that. I don't say failure. I say it's been X amount of days since an embarrassing piece of news about uh... the game, right? Okay, that's if that's the metric, then this because this is embarrassing. If that's the metric, then this is a clock reset. But I'm like, this is almost like a remake the clock. Reset. Yeah, just <laughs> recontextualize because, the clock. Because because for me, it's like this. This is not this is not a failure. It's like this is an, an, an announcement of a bad idea. This is more than twice the amount. Uh, this is like twice. The right. failure is the result of what happens after this announcement. Oh yeah, that's the fail. Oh my god. But this is the this is the plan. You know, this so is, this is the announcement. And remember, this is leading to the clock this reset. This is this is right after. By the way, they said they weren't going to have any gameplay oriented uh, microtransactions, and then they put them in anyway. And then they said, "Oh, people love them so much, we just had to do it." And they're huge liars. That was like two weeks ago. Uh, so now they're going to offer you, hey, a one hundred dollar annual pass. It'll expire to play the game single player, which would probably play way better. Because it means the server won't just be dying every two seconds. I mean... And I, unlimited storage. Something that people have been complaining about the whole time they've been playing that game. So, you ha this obviously probably had to go through the the, the meeting, like, crunch... Fucking... Not crunch. Uh, the meeting um, conveyor belt of, like, one to the another to another to, like, okay, how do we just monetize, like, in a strong, succinct, yeah, simple way? And... Just fuck it. This is the, charge more than this is just charge twice the price of the game. Just, just, just fuck. Just see who bites. Yep. Take take um, your fishing rod. Put put shit on it. Put fecal matter on your fishing rod and throw it in. See and who, say you get a hundred dollars if you bite see, this. Just see, bite this see who bites. The, I mean, so we'll, I don't know. There how might much, be a fish out there. Uh, extra research you've done on Maybe Fallout seventy six and how busted it is. Zero. But did you know that the fact that enabling uh, private server games is related to your unlimited inventory space no so uh joseph is his name joseph anderson i want to say it's joseph anderson um and a guy named um mandalore played a bunch of fallout 76 on stream and joseph uh made this enormous video documentary on how fucked up that game is and went into detail on like there was once a time in which the server would not add new people. So as the night went on, less and less people would be populating the server until it appeared that him and Mandalore were maybe the only people on the server, right? Okay. At the time, all of a sudden, everything worked great. Uh, inventory was snappy. Bugs stopped happening. All sorts of shit massively improved. And then he went into multiple patches and, and looked at all the changes they've made to like, oops, we've now instituted a hard carry limit. We've instituted a total item limit, or they changed the weights of items. And everything they've tried to do is to try and get the amount of items people are carrying down. Because it appears that the amount of items that are floating around in the world on characters are being pinged by the server. And that causes the server to fucking die. So, if you create a function in which... You maybe don't have to connect to the server. Wow. All of a sudden, your inventory can be unlimited. You lighten up the load. by s To infinity, because wow. it's probably not even connecting to a server anymore. <laughs> so, this is actually one feature. <laughs> this is a bug... <laughs> Wooly, this is a... Fascinating. This is a bug fix. They determined... Fascinating They approach. determined... That the only way to have infinite inventory is to just let people play by themselves. And they go, well, shit, if we let people play by themselves, no one's ever going to play online. What do we do? Monetize it. Dude, that's, I mean, that's almost brilliant. 
Like that's almost genius. It's not a bug. It's a it's a paid feature. Like wow, at the spin on that because. People have been complaining about inventory management in that game forever because the game wants you to carry tons of stuff for like crafting and crap like that, but you just don't have enough slots in your inventory or weight. You just don't have enough. So, so I guess they were looking into fixing that, and this is the only way to fix it. So yeah, it says here the benefits are the private world, uh, unlimited storage, uh, a new fast travel point with a stash sleeping bag, um, a bunch of atoms, um, oh, yeah. an outfit exclusive for members, and unique icons and more. This is the most so. embarrassing, desperate attempt to make money back off this game. Do you think it's the final attempt? Yeah, probably. Because I have to be real. Like I didn't expect any news to pop up. Hey, by the way, you know what? Oh, when did this get announced? Today? Today. You know why I bet this got announced today? Because Outer Worlds is out on Friday. Fuck me, you're right. It's Outer Worlds is all the rage right now. Everyone's talking about how amazing it is. I'm expecting to be able to get early access, which I'm going to try and stream tomorrow night. But ever they're doing a they are doing the craziest thing ever. The game isn't out yet. There's a Twitch plays Outer Worlds happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is apparently a mess because of course it is. Also, full there's full reviews like a week ahead of time. Embargo is is broken. Or Everybody, not broken. Embargo's up. Right. Everybody's now. just talking about how awesome it is and it's it's a spiritual successor this, so this is a to Kotor New Vegas. So this that's a double whammy. Right and this there. is so yeah. And so they're just going, "Hey, but Fallout though. Fallout response." And yeah. it's like, "Fuck, okay. go fuck yourselves." Mm. It's that is so blatant. Whenever Blizzard did it and whenever uh, everybody always does it and it's like it has no relation to our competitors' release dates. It, we just happened to release this thing right before. See, it. it's it's blatant to, uh, it's blatant to, like anyone who's following the two things. Yes, it is not blatant in the grand scheme. And down the line, I would argue that it's even harder because now we remember this, and we will remember this as a response to that. Yeah. But at other times, you when you think about a game announcement, you're very rarely thinking about when this dropped and in comparison to what. It's really funny because like World of Warcraft is my favorite because expansions for the for World of Warcraft always always drop within like one week of whatever their current competitor's expansion is going to drop. Like um, whatever it is, yeah. that's when it comes out. Uh, uh, yeah. So that they were the, they were doing the Epic Fortnite approach yeah. before that, you know, before Epic was but uh, I was gonna oh say oh my fucking god when you just said epic Fortnite, I didn't even understand that you were saying epic the company and Fortnite the game I literally translated it into popular meme thing like like epic. it was like it was joke words that you were saying wow yeah no because Fortnite is like a joke word in my mind no now. no 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 I meant the literal of both of those things um so it's Im also I realized uh, that um, not realized, but uh, I, I remember that it's easy to forget as well how things perform when you forget about what it was up against. Yeah. Right. So when people go, "What the fuck happened with like Titanfall?" Yeah. Or Titanfall. And it's like it was released on the same day as Battlefield. It was sent to die. And you know, or and and uh, movies, right? Yeah. That come out that are just like, why this amazing? What what happened? You're like, oh, it was up against. How come this Oscar winner you know, didn't make a ton of money? Because it came out the same weekend as Jaws. Like, fuck off. You know, shit like that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah you know? So, um, uh, I wish there was a way to, like, be aware of the timing. The internet context machine is something that you need to create. Right? This is here, and this, is, this happened, but what else was happening at this time yeah. that this is probably in relation to, you know? Like, how come Battleborn was such a miserable failure? Well, one, it wasn't very appealing. Two, Blizzard decided to fucking curb stomp them into hell with Overwatch's release and beta timings. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a good review would probably include that context. Yeah. Uh, a bad review would probably not. Yeah. Uh, Fuck off, Fallout. Sure. Something that hurts me to say. <laughs> 